Hey guys, Pete from PizzaSense.com, February 10th, 2010. Uh, we started out in pre-market a little bit in the red, but nothing to worry or cry about. Uh, even when we opening bell started, um, we pulled back, I think it was 30, 40, 50 points, no big deal. Um, the S&P 500, which I have here as a three-month chart, pulled back, I think it was to a low of 1061, 1063. You know, it caught my attention a little bit. Obviously, I was watching it. Um, but as I told you guys in the last couple of videos, as long as we stay above and beyond 1060, which is here, you'll see here, I've created a better trend line. The trend line uh, continues to improving as the days go by. So in other words, uh, we're not trading parabolic. Uh, like today, we pulled back a little bit. We flattened out. And as you see, depending on what time you see this video, it's uh, 2 o'clock right now, and the Dow is up uh, 12 points. The SMB, uh, the SMB, the SMP is trading at 1072. So we're, uh, we're doing pretty good. We're away from 1050. Um, let's see, we crossed the five day. I think the five day is going to uh, start turning as far as an indicator. You'll see here when it dropped off the cliff. And you'll see the system has a buy signal here. If I don't know if you guys can see it here in small. So we're looking pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm content. I am uh, overly bullish. Uh, my bullish tendency is increasing as we go. I think there's more money coming into the market. Uh, I see a lot of stocks that were hit uh, crossing the 50-day uh, improving as well. They came close to the 200-day, but... Uh, the majority of them, uh, maybe um, just uh, just before or maybe halfway down between their 50 and 200 day, they started turning. But obviously, you got to watch the overall market as the first indicator, uh, then the sector, and then the industry, and then obviously the fundamentals uh, of a particular stock, and then entry and exit points through technical analysis. Okay, so pretty much that's uh, the way I look at things um, in that order, pretty much. OK, I, I follow the overall market and then that tells me what to do or not to do. OK, as far as the usual suspects, um, I don't have it here in the chart. Uh, I should have opened it up uh, the window a little bit more. But anyway, uh, Toyota TM looking pretty good. We're up another dollar today. So I think it is turning around. If you looked at uh, or if you look at yesterday's video, uh, you'll see my thoughts on that. Uh, PBR, we're up 59 cents, doing good. Uh, Pep, PepsiCo, also up 45. Banker America is also up 34. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, Google, big announcement with Google Buzz. Um, I'm, you know, finally I got my Buzz uh, in my Gmail, so I'm, uh, I'm real happy about that. I think it is going to be a Twitter killer once uh, certain tweaks uh, come into play and they give us functionality as far as, um, you know, responding to Twitter itself and Facebook and all this. But uh, I think it's a great program integrated with our Gmail account. So I'm real happy about that. Um, it helps us get the word and become more social, especially in stocks. You know, I, I live, uh, this is my career. So uh, I think it's a good communication tool. Look into it if you haven't uh, looked into it yet. It's buzz.google.com. Um, and I think that's going to bring up Google stock again. I mean, it's trading at $536, up $0.23 cents right now. Nothing to brag about. But um, I really got to, you know, reanalyze Google. Uh, it, it's crazy. I also came across a video a little while ago where Google is going to become uh, or trying to become for the first 50 to uh, I'm sorry, for the first 500 to 500,000 people, something like that, uh, to become an internet service provider, uh, an ISP, and that's crazy news. So you can see that video on my website as well at Pete, uh, Pete'sTwoCents.com. All right, guys, I'll be back with more news in a little bit and a couple of stock picks. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you in a little bit. Thanks.